Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to be looking at piano, for those of you who have a piano at home. Now I'm kind of at a weird angle here, just because I want you to be able to see all the keys of the piano. Uh, now in this video we're going to be talking about the different letter names of the keys. Um, I know in my class we use stickers, but you may not have stickers at home, um, so this is kind of to help you learn what the names of every key is. And this is something we would have learned anyways in class, but now you get a sneak peek. So. On the piano, and you'll notice this piano is facing you. I'm actually going to be playing the piano upside down today, so you'll get to see me uh, struggle with that, so have fun with that. Um, on the piano, we have white keys, which are these, and we have the black keys, which are these. And it's pretty obvious which is which. And the black keys are actually going to help us learn um, the names of the keyboard, uh, of the keys on the keyboard. So we're going to take a look at these. Now, if you notice on your piano, you have, pair, uh, you have a pattern. It goes two black keys three black keys, two black keys, three, two, three, two, three, two. And it goes all the way up and down. So um, those are actually going to help us learn the names of the notes. Now, the two, the patterns that have the two, and then we're going to call those chopsticks. So why don't you get your fingers on the two black keys that are next to each other, and we're going to call those chopsticks. You put that in your pocket, right? Put that in your brain. And uh, pick any of the three. I'm going to pick those ones. We're going to call these forks. All right, so we have chopsticks and we have forks. Now, why are we calling them that? Well, the reason is, is chopsticks starts with the letter what? C. I hope you said C. Yes, chopsticks starts with the letter C. And right before the two is the note C, right? So C. C, C, and you have a bunch of different C's on here. So here's what we're going to do. I want you to find a C. I don't care which one, just find any old C. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. That's a C. Now, if you're sounding different, if you're sounding like any of those, you probably weren't playing a C. So let's do it again. One more time. Five, four, three, two, one. And you can check it. If the note is next to the two, you're playing a C, right? Should it be in between? No. Should it be afterwards? Nope, it should be right before the two. Good. Um, and those are called the chopsticks, and the C is the start of the chopsticks, so the C is the start of the two. And we're going to jump to the three. Now for your threes, we're going to call them forks, because forks have three times. Sometimes they have four. Don't uh, correct me, uh, they have three, we're going to say all forks have three. Don't worry about it, all right? Forks have three, and fork starts with F, that's right, and F is going to be at the start of the three, all right? So that's an F, that's an F, F, that's an F, that's one, that's one, all right? Those are all the same note, they're just at different octaves, which is something we'll talk about later. So here we go, we're going to find an F, five, four, three, two, one, that's an F. That's right. All right, let's find another one. Two, five, four, three, two, one. That's an F. All right, let's find a C. Oh, I'm going to try to trick you. Find a C. Five, four, three, two, one. Remember, C is the two. F is the one next to the forks. Now, the rest of them, because they all have names, are alphabetical. All right, so we're going to start on a C. You can pick any C. I don't mind. And we're going to say the names, but we're going to go very slow, just so you can hear it. Now remember, feel free to kind of go back, if you feel like I was moving way too fast, feel free to go back and watch in this part, this part specifically, I want you to make sure you are familiar with the names of the keys, all right? Because that's going to help us learn the song in the next video. So here we go. We're at a C, D, E, and play along with me, F. G, A, B, oops, C. Let's do it again because I messed up. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Let's start lower. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. All right, good job. Let's find, and I'm going to give you some time, a D. 
D. All right? Let's pick any one. Five, four, three, two and a half, two, one and a half. I hope you're ready. One and D. All right? You can play that one. You can play this one. Play through D. All right? Let's find a G. Five, four, three, two and a half, two, one, point five, point two five, and G. You can play this one. You can play that one. You can play this one. They were all G. So please take some time. If your parents know how to play piano, they can help you learn the names of the keys. But just make sure that you're familiar with it before you go on to the next video, um, which is going to uh, show us how to play a song. All right. I hope you learned something on this video. Remember, go back if you need some help still. Um, and thank you very much.